Welcome to Grace. My name is Steven, and this is your annual director's report 2.0. I am not sure if you are familiar with the story of Stephen, not me, the biblical character whom I'm named after. There's a few things about the story which stick out to me. One, that the Christians at that time realized that the distribution of food to the least of these mattered. In fact, it mattered so much that it could not be neglected. I am very thankful our district believes in 2023 that this is still true. I am thankful our local churches believe this to be true and that our neighbors re recognize this to be true. The second thing is that in the story, the Christians selected seven people to embark on this mission. It wasn't just Stephen. Spoiler alert, but the sharing place can't work either with just Stephen. Finally, the word of God spread and the people became obedient to the faith. The last year has been a lot of crossing those T's and dotting those I's. We have done a plan to protect, training to ensure vulnerable people are welcomed into our safe place. We have registered with the police to do background checks on our volunteers in order to make sure we are indeed safe we have followed up with people who have signed up to volunteer. We have done a volunteer orientation night. We have all become bylaw experts, reviewing the old bylaws in preparation of new bylaws. Last annual general, general meeting, I said, we had the building blocks, let us build. Sometimes to build, you almost have to pour a new foundation. To my board members, Thank you. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you for paying attention to the details. Thank you for recognizing that these things matter. Thank you for stretching yourself to include quite a few meetings into your busy schedule. It was grueling, like a race, but we are better off for it. Recently, we had a longtime volunteer at the Sharing Place pass away. Dalton was a single man who found value in sharing his life and time with us. He was like family. What do you do for family? You remember them. We started to plan a memorial. When I finally made the announcement, one of our volunteers, who has their own family, sheepishly shared with me how they felt they had to come because once they went to a single person's funeral and no one showed up. She could not imagine no one being there to say goodbye to our friendly volunteer. Confidently, I assured her there will be people. Here, we are family. On the day of the memorial, one by one we filled the pews. We met as strangers, grew in faith, and somehow became family. All of this because we needed a place to share food. But in the end, we shared more. We shared life, we shared our hopes, we shared our failures, we shared our hearts. And we were not alone because guess what? We are not alone. Thank you for sharing with us week after week. Thank you for journeying with us. There is much to be happy about this year. We decided a food bank should have a larger kitchen. Let's budget for that. One of our board members sent me a grant application. I filled it out. God did the rest. In preparation of the new kitchen, we started to move things around and change long forgotten rooms back to offices. When doing the work involved for the new office, everyone was very excited for me to have a new quiet place to work. Adamantly, I kept saying, I don't actually need an office. I need less paper and a laptop. Well, who then are we building an office for? Someone. I don't know who. I don't need to know. God knows. This week, I got an email from Georgian College followed up by a phone call. Would you like a co-op student? Yes. Yes, I do. In fact, I've been making an office for them. By visiting supporting churches, I was able to bump into Marjorie Osborne, who helped start the sharing place. She then was able to share with our board how the sharing place first got its vision, a compelling story, which I have video of if, if, if anyone is interested. Finally, we have successfully opened for indoor breakfasts and dinners. 
things are going great. Dalton was a marathon runner. His absolute favorite marathon was the Boston Marathon. I've never watched the Boston Marathon. I've never been to the Boston Marathon. Yet I feel I could paint a picture of it by all the times I had heard Dalton describe it. Mile 20 and 21 is infamously known as Heartbreak Hill. It's this last big hill at the end of the race and because where it is, where it is in the race, it knocks out a lot of the competition. At a race, there are plenty of people on the sidelines. They're cheering the racers on. You can do it, it is worth it. You are almost there. Today, I think about us at the sharing place as we run our race. There are plenty of people cheering for us. Our local businesses support us, the neighboring schools which do food drives for us, our gardeners who grow vegetables for us, our prayer partners praying for us, the local girl guides who make cookies for us, retired businessmen who support us, the scouts who collect for us, Lambton Golf and Country Club who donate to us. And I am a man of faith, so I believe a God who looks out for us. If you are on the sideline, if you are cheering for us, thank you. It is an encouragement. However, maybe just maybe you can step out and join us. Start the race. It isn't too late. I promise you there's plenty of room. In the Bible, there's this verse which reads, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. We are praying because one way or another, there is much to do. Respectfully submitted, Stephen Atkinson. This is Grace. My name is Stephen, and this is Church. Yeah.
when he was on the cross. We were on his mind. Yes, when he was on the cross. We were